Hi Kirk, um, please introduce yourself a bit and tell us a bit about what you do. Okay, uh, my name is uh, Kirk Huffman, I'm an anthropologist. Anthropologists are, it's a discipline that is fascinated with human behavior in all different cultures around the world. Uh, but anthropologists tend to pursue their work and live with societies that are still following very traditional ways of life. Uh, uh, to try and help to give us an idea into the incredible range of real behaviors around the world. I mean, the world is not just bling and cell phones and things like that, but there are other cultures around the world. Uh, that we think have an awful lot to teach us because there's also a feeling in a way that the modern world may have taken the wrong track. We've gone off into the road of technology and money. Now in the modern world everybody's obsessed with this thing called money but there are still societies around the world who are still living self-sufficient lives. They're not damaging the environment and they don't use money. You know, and a lot of them are healthier than we are, live as long as we do, and none of them are in debt. <laughs> and they don't have to have these crazy things called jobs. This is one of the things that living and working as an anthropologist can teach you that our way of life, okay, the way of life that we in the so-called modern world are following is not necessarily the right way to live. From the point of view of the future of humanity, it's definitely not the right way to live because the kinds of problems brought about by obsessive overdevelopment over the last century or more uh, have actually aided and abetted the very serious climatic situation that the world is in at the moment. Many of the, the cultures that I've lived, traditional cultures that I've lived and worked with in many areas of the world, who are themselves aware of climate change and have been aware as long as, if not longer, than modern so-called scientists, they say that what's happening is, they often say it's the white man's fault. And the thing is, they're actually right. What they mean is the fault of modern development. It's the way the modern world has gone by this perpetual race for money, this perpetual race for destruction of the natural world, purely for short-term benefit of certain sections of the world's population that are not necessarily representative of the world's cultures. And what people sort of tend to forget is that there are 6,000 languages spoken in the world today. But two-thirds of those are spoken by small-scale tribal societies and they're not written languages. Mm -hmm. And they represent less than, I think it's about 1.4% of the world's population. And yet they hold two-thirds of, they hold the, the knowledge of two-thirds of the world's languages and all that those languages know. So in our modern world, in the modern technological world, we don't actually have any access to that. Just a quick question. Um, do you have any messages or projects that you do, which, um, like particular, any messages that you'd like to send to the youth of today? Uh, okay, a message for the youth of today. Be as sustainable as possible. Be as sustainable as possible, and that may mean if you look I'm a bit of a hardliner <laughs> I've never learned how to drive I don't use mobile phones uh, I think we may be coming to a time in the future when uh, even air travel air travel may be restricted because now recent studies have shown that uh, it's particularly high-level air flights in the in this part of the Pacific Australia in between Australia and New Zealand that are actually polluting the ozone layer uh, uh, much more so than in other areas of the world. So you may actually find that there may be air travel restrictions placed in various areas of the world. Eh? Uh, don't, another thing for the youth of the today, don't follow everything that you see on, what's that program? The X Factor, you know, <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 that's just <laughs> bling, that's just bling. Okay, now, yes, and be cautious, about, money is not what it's all about. What life is all about, really, is respect and wisdom. Modern technology 
doesn't give you wisdom. Wisdom comes from if you listen to your grandparents, who were a lot more self-sufficient than we are today. Uh, if you hear about areas of the world where some people say, oh, there are primitive tribes living there, don't believe them, because the tribes that are living there have been living there for thousands of years, they're completely self-sufficient, they're highly sophisticated, they're very philosophical, they're just not interested in the things that uh, the modern world is interested in, and good for them. Also, they're not obsessed with this thing called money. One of the greatest dangers, unfortunately, today, and one of the most addictive drugs in the world today, is this bizarre thing called money. Now, when you all grow up, and when the youth of today grows up, they're all told, you've got to go and get a job. Yes, okay, well, that's the, if you want to live in the modern world. But the aim of life should not be just to get a job or just to earn this thing called...